so I'm just here in bed. Um, I'm gonna get ready to go to sleep, so we'll see you tomorrow on Anderson Cooper Day. Two vlogs are going up today. It's Anderson Cooper Day, so we have Anderson Cooper on, as always. So, it's Anderson Cooper Day today. I'm not, um, we're not doing anything for Anderson Cooper Day. We're just going to show you some best moments. So, I'm going to be showing you some best moments of Anderson Cooper. So, here they are. I know you got it, but... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, this is actually never happened to me. Favorite line the whole time. So various he can't even name them. The vodka was so complex it actually had to be well, harmful side effects and antidepressant drugs. To me, there's also very legitimate concerns to heroin. Now the president just wants everything to be investigated. I, 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 I don't even know. Really, there's no question there. I just what the yeah. It's, uh, I'm not sure I have an answer. It's a it's a You have no answer to my question. On its, on its face, it's ridiculous. Spend an intimate evening with Anderson Cooper and Andy Cohen. Yeah, it's not a show. Don't call it a show. You probably should have told them that before they bought tickets. Deep Talk and Shallow Tales, Saturday, September 14th, Great Eagle Resort and Casino. On sale now at Ticketmaster.ca. That's it for last. The news continues. Want to hand it over to Chris? Woo woo! I was going to ask you for one of those, but the gift became even before the request. Thank you very much, my brother. I appreciate it. All right. I am Chris Cuomo. Welcome to Prime Time. Yes. You arrived in one of the safest cities in the nation. Have been, will will continue to be. Oh, my. You're trying to zoom in. You and everybody in that city and, and yeah. so many families are going through right now. Thank you. Thank you, Anderson. Well, <laughs> So hear him argue. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at him. Chris Cuomo. The interview with those two counselors, uh, senators I mean, this is my favorite part of this episode. It's awesome. I rewind this a little bit. So you guys can go see his eyes opening up. It's so adorable. Five surviving crew members couldn't provide some answers. They were picked up at sea by a man named uh, Bob Hansen, who I spoke with. And now it's time for another episode of The Ridiculous! Mr. Trump has never forgotten. The reason, though, one can assume that President Trump uses Jerome as an insult to silence. Jerome! You mean Jerome again, the, the hockey player. Is often called by his nickname, Jay. No! Knows that. I have not. <laughs> about the new possibility of Secretary of State Mike Pompeo taking all those who were murdered. And the White House ceremonies began this morning with a... Which is against the law. Uh, Look at it. allowed to put things into a... Oh, say hi. Gyms remain open in a city like New York City. I mean, uh, you know, I was in the gym today. Someone came on the treadmill right next to me. There were other treadmills empty. I went and moved to another treadmill because I thought, well, there's no reason to be right next to somebody. Um, 
Is that it would be a gift to have a, a, an effective therapy right now. I mean, everybody on the planet certainly wants Alicia that. Alicia Keys is uh, joining yeah, CNN on Thursday. Oh, her I can still hear your voice asking me softly, are we in love or are we just friends? Drinking without me and living without me. I'm living like it, love it, and gotta have it.